universe. So it get all tied up with missing links. They are still there. So you also become wandering ghosts. Right? Not only wandering ghosts will start off glory. And if you can see the Chinese believe they need to have a lot of joss paper, joss stick, a lot of these uh, so-called the, the candles and a lot of these to help them actually have strength where they can stand up. And when they are able to get stand up, they, where do they stay? Under the bridge, beneath the tree, six feet. Right? Six feet under. This is a tree, six feet. Underneath the tree, six feet. Not on top. Not around. Underneath the, the tree, six feet. Or beneath the bridge where it's very dark and gloomy. So when do they rise to that ground beside the tree? They cannot wander around only around the tree. It's early in the morning, 1 to 3 a.m. That is the ghost time. 1 to 3 a.m. early in the morning, the ghost time. Then only they can come up and stand in the tree. Right? Ah, within three feet, they can walk around. Right? Previous. Yes, previous. Once they get eight years of this receiving the jobs paper and jobs thing, then they can jump three story high. After eight years, you know, only jump three story. After three story, go to walk the stairs up. Huh? I cannot jump anymore. Eight years, they only get this strength. You know what I mean? So if you have this uh, opportunity to see, you see that they are really pitiful. It's better to be human. Then why do you want to die so early? Why do you want to die before your time? Why do you want to shorten yourself by committing suicide? So this Hungry Ghost Festival festivity is to teach us don't kill yourself because you are even more pitiful than a living being. Right? So another part they also teach us during the Hungry Ghost Festival try your best while you are still living put all your effort in go achieve your wishes attain what you wanted to have in this world right? be contented and let go that's why right. if you are not contented you will never be satisfied with this human world, then how could you leave it behind and rise to become saint in heaven? You can't. Because there is still urge, there is still the need of wanting material gain. So philosophically, they say that humans should actually satisfy their urge by working for it, not stealing, not cheating, right? Not go says use all sort of means, but use your effort to try to achieve your wishes. So the says that if you can't, at least you should understand everything in this world is only for us when we are in this world to help us live through live through what? live through this human life once we live there will be nothing that you can take with you to the other world you born naked you live naked also nothing with you go I mean? you come with nothing you live with nothing also. So everything that you get in this human life is only meant for you to use and spend. It's not meant for you to keep. So why should you have the urge of keeping certain things? Oh, this is my pen. You know how much I invest in this? Uh, I want to hold on to it. I cannot live without it. And if someone were to have stolen it, you get so uptight, you get so upset, or you want a big house. Oh, this is my house, and I love my house.
house so much, right? So when you die, it's no longer your house. You can't live there. So the Chinese uses what? The people make items to teachers saying that once you leave the world, nothing is with you. You live with nothing. So why go putting so much of heartache into holding on onto all this material thing? See? So they use paper to tell you, once burned, it turns into ashes. Similar to once you die, all this material thing will be in ashes, not yours anymore. So, as a philosophy to teach us life, do not get into saying that unable to let go of the material things. Once attained, they should be like people who are already rich, achieving their wealth. They say that anything beyond that, have you read in the newspaper? The billionaires in the US says, anything beyond that, you can't even spend it anymore. True? So to them, everything is material. It's for us to use. I have so much, I have to put it into good use of it. I should not be holding and slipping on it, saying that this is all with me. That means that your life is meaningless without understanding all this is only for us to use. So, by understanding that, you understand what? You understand? Why do you want money? How much do you want? What is the limit that you want? Then only you know how to satisfy yourself. You understand that. So, during this Hungry Ghost Festival, they will normally burn a lot of human life material item made in paper so that to actually try to help the wandering ghost to get satisfied yeah satisfied or satisfied their urge of wanting so you'll see what LV bags plasma television Mercedes Benz but they will get it in the world this is only to teach us the living, saying that we are trying to help them satisfy the urge. Let go, huh? Yeah, this is yours. Once burned, ready, you get it, you don't get it. Follow the king of hates. Right? King of hates, right? Go back to the judgment hell place to get judged and hope you can have an opportunity to restart your life again. Once you become the wandering ghost, more so than not, you don't have the opportunity to just get rise up to be the same. You see, people who naturally, right? Naturally, they say, I want this to help me. People like using uh, graveyard folks eh, and all this, you know that they are there. So once they do that, they naturally become getting a passport or a ticket to be judged immediately. So once you see they die being wandering ghosts, you know that it's more like they don't have the opportunity to be seen. But either they have to suffer in this other world and wait for that opportunity to be judged and reincarnate. I reincarnate or being judged and stay in hell. So the Chinese believe in reincarnation for your information. The Chinese believe in reincarnation. Right? So they say that our life, we are given opportunity to keep trying to satisfy our urge. This life you don't get it, like this life you didn't get opportunity to get married, so next life you come again to get married. This life you say that you are not satisfied with your spouse because you have overworked yourself and your spouse did not work, then next life they arrange an opportunity for you to be with your spouse again, so this time your spouse work and you try to get satisfied. 
So that's why I say, 